Alright, now we start the new intro. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. That's my new intro, so hope you like that for because basically that's gonna probably be in almost all of my videos. Alright, hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing what if Belgium um fell into civil war with their French, Dutch, and German speaking parts over here. But Argentina, all the way down there, in South America, goes to help them. That's my brother's idea, not mine. Um, so we start off with the civil war breaking out. The, obviously the Netherlands are supporting the Dutch side to join them, obviously. The French want to have the, the um, French side join them, but they wanted to win. And the Germans basically just want to annex this, but they are going to be supporting it anyways. That's like the German bit. I know there's a German bit somewhere. Um, so we also, we have Argentina getting in on this. We also have the UK getting in on this because of the Falklands all the way down there. Because you have the Falklands in South Georgia. South, South Georgia. South East Georgia? So, so we have this. So we have Argentina getting involved and also breaking out with war in the UK. This time though, they're actually being successful with, in capturing these islands. They're successful, and they even managed to pull all the navy to capture that one. They can't really go any further. So up here, the, the UK tries to send out navy, but the problem is France France is on the side of Argentina here. Um, France is on the side of Argentina. So uh, basically, they support rebellions in the UK. So the entire UK ca collapses. You have Cornwall gaining. You have Cornwall gaining independence. Then Wales, then Brexit, then you have the Isle of Man, no, wait, no, um, then you have England, then you have, um, Scotland breaking off, but, the same, same Scotland, not them, and then you have Scotland breaking off of the UK. Just pretend all of the, the colonial islands down here are now independent or part of something. So the UK shatters like glass, and uh, they die forever. The end. I'm just kidding. Um, so with the Civil War, Brussels is divided, as you can see, is divided between the French and the Dutch. So basically, about what Germany goes ahead and does with the with the German part. Now that's German. Problem solved. So uh, also with the part of Belgium even lost. Um, the Civil War just decides to start going violent. Argentina, Ar France, Ar Argentina helps out by pushing, basically, Argentina's on the side of the, on the French. Uh, no, um, they're on the side of these people, uh, not the Dutch, the Dutch part. And basically just, the, this is the normal Belgium government, and this is the rebellion. And that's German, that's Germany. And um, so, with this war, the the French manage to connect up with the coast, but the Dutch then help out by also capturing the south and encircling the rebellion. This is really small. So then the French help out. So then the French French help out. And managed to even capture Brussels. Now, the good part of the rebellion is now pushed down to this. Bit of a nod back to how the Korea was pushed down to that. South Korea. And Argentina, now wanting to help their friend, now, man it now pumps like a crap ton of resources into there. So they start pumping it so much that they managed to even capture Brussels. They almost managed to kill the rebellion. But that's until Luxembourg gets in on this war and starts supporting the French side. So Luxembourg sends its limited resources to uh, start another uprising. Yeah, yeah they the rebellion bit back for there. 
So with the Civil War basically going like no way, these people just start to divide, make up plans to divide Belgium into two. A lot of people are going to be unhappy with that, but uh, I can take criticism. Um, so the Luxembourg, the Luxembourgians and the French Rebellion decide to unite with each other. So Luxembourg is now part of the French part, and France starts making plans to see if they're able to annex the French bit. Probably this coal place. Um, ignore that, ignore that. Blend, blend. Oh crap, I'm in a, oops, this, there we go. Um, they start making plans to annex this region. And the Netherlands also starts making plans to annex this region. And Germany didn't even make plans, they just kind of occupied. I'm gonna give it a different color for occupied. That's an occupied region. So basically, for the for the, the Germany also just kind of Germany also annexes this second time, and now with the plans all drawn up, they tell those two to stop fighting, and Fran the French rebellion decides to uh, decide to hug it out with the Belgians, but the Luxembourgians don't like that, so they break off again, and this time invade invade the uh, these guys. Uh, so the Luxembourg out now has their former borders back, which might be good, might not be. Um, so it's not really going well, and now the Netherlands finally puts their plans into action and annexes the region. They also changed the color because I'm too lazy to find the Netherlands color. So they annex the region. They annex the region. And France invades Luxembourg and stuff. France actually invades Luxembourg and that. Because at this point, why not? France actually invades. And so France gets the sub. So Belgium is in the end divided. But I'm going to get a lot of people are not happy about that because the Belgium fought a long civil war with the Dutch to get independence. And they're probably not happy. And the Luxembourg is probably not happy. But this is going to be the outcome. So uh, the UK's dead. <clears throat> the UK's dead. Belgium is in two. Along with Luxembourg is also dead. Belgium's in three. And that'll be the end for this video. So goodbye. And remember to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell to uh, get some more vids. Sorry for the cringy, sorry for the cringy intro, uh, but it's my new one, so I'm probably gonna put that in the start of most of my videos. So, uh, goodbye, and hope you like this one. Peace.